Hey guys, welcome back to another video at InfoSec Path. In this video today, I want to show you guys how to install Android in VirtualBox. I don't have an Android personally. I have an iPhone, as you can see here. I have an iPhone. I'm an iPhone user. You guys can uh, prank me and troll me all you want, but it's all good. I love my iPhone. So I had a few people reach out to me asking me how to set up Android in VirtualBox or VMware or just on a different platform. Like if they don't have an Android, how can they do it? There is ways, and I want to show you guys in this video how to do that. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, and share. That always helps the channel. And you know, smash the like button and all that good stuff to uh, hack the algorithm in YouTube. So let's go on to my desktop now, right? So here I have my, my virtual box. So I'm gonna put this link in the description below. So this is the link of the ISO image that we're gonna be utilizing for this Android video. So I wanna throw this in there. It's gonna be Android 9.0. That's what we're gonna be using. All right, so I wanna open up the, add a new virtual machine. Okay, let's add a new one. So in here, we can just put Android. Android 9, I'll put VM. And then for type, make sure you put Linux. And then other 64-bit, that should be good. Okay, so let's go to next. As far as RAM's concerned, I have uh, a lot of RAM on this machine. So I wanna allocate maybe six gigs. You can do minimum two gigs to run Android, but I wanna throw six in there so it runs a little smoother. Okay, hit next. The next, the next screen here is the hard drive. Go ahead and create a new hard drive now. Go ahead and just hit create. And just leave this all as default. Put VDI, which is the VirtualBox disk image. We're gonna leave it dynamically allocated, okay? And as far as hard drive space, I wanna throw about, I'll throw 15 gigs at it. I'll do 16, 16 gigs should be fine. You can do 10, but I'm gonna do 16 because I have the space, all right? So let's go ahead and create. Now we have that VM created, but we're not done yet. Now we have to do is make some changes so this runs as smooth as possible, okay? So at this time, if you got through all of this, we have to right click on here and go to settings. Or you could have just hit settings up on the top, the little gear. So on general, you leave everything defaulted here. Actually, I'm gonna put by the, I'll, I'll change that later. But you can just leave everything default. When we go to system though, we wanna go ahead and go to processor and I have quite a few processors, so I want to add two processors in my case, okay? And the next thing we can do is acceleration. We need to use KVM. KVM is what we need to use for this Android to work, okay? Let's go to display. In display, we can go ahead and max this out to 128 megs, okay? So we can have the maximum video memory that we can utilize for this uh, VM, okay? So everything else should be good. Graphics should be VBOX SVGA. This is what this will need in order to run properly. And everything else should be good. The last thing is now we have to go, go browse to the ISO file that we downloaded in order to install the operating system. So we can go to here where it says empty. And this little uh, circle here, which is like a CD-ROM drive, we hit that and we can choose a file, disk file. And we're gonna choose the one that we downloaded, okay? In this case, this is what I downloaded. You can see it here, and we can go ahead and click okay. Now we should be set up. I wanna do one more thing actually that I totally forgot. In my network settings, I'm gonna use NAT Network and InfoSec Lab because later on, what I'm gonna do is set up like, I wanna to try to run some scans, you, you know, do some stuff that I wanna have it on the same network as my Kali machine and my lab setup, okay? So I wanna go ahead and hit okay there. And let's go ahead and hit start. Let's give this a moment. Hopefully it doesn't start on my other screen, which it probably will. Oh, no, it started here, okay? So we see here, 
the startup disk. What we have to do is browse to the startup disk that we had. And it's not showing up, so let's go ahead. Yeah, it's not showing up there, so let's go ahead and browse to it. And it's going to be the 9.0 ISO, so it's going to be this one. Perfect. Okay, and hit start. All right. So while this is starting, we can make this bigger. Now let's capture this. Let's go to advanced options. Okay. In advanced options, we're going to go ahead and choose the third, the fourth option: auto installation, auto install to specific hardware. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and and let's see. Yes, auto installation. We want to hit yes here and hit enter. Let me go ahead and X these out. Let's make this a little bigger so we can just cover up most of the screen. Okay, we want to see all these crazy icons. Okay, so it's pretty much done. It's a very simple process. It's pretty quick. Okay, so where it says Android x86 is installed successfully, we can go ahead and let me make sure I'm in that box and hit run Android 86. Okay, once we run it, we'll have to set it up. And it's a, you know, if you guys are Android users, which I'm not, you guys will probably be more familiar with this process. And like I said, I'm not an Android guy. I just wanted to do this so I can get familiar with some of the, some of the tools and everything like that, you know? So I figured, let me just make a video and it should be fun, All right? So it's probably gonna take a second. This is actually the first time I'm ever doing this. Uh, I think I did it, no, I'm lying. I, I think I did it once before and I had like an awful time doing it. I didn't like it. And because I'm more of a Mac, or an Apple user, I don't have a MacBook Pro or anything. Actually, I do on a VM that I just set up, which was pretty cool. I'm just work, working on some backend stuff, you know, tinkering with some stuff. All right, so here he says, hey there, let's go ahead and hit start. I'm in, I'm in the United States, so, all right, so see, <clears throat> so in my case, my virtual Wi-Fi is my network that it's on that InfoSec lab network. So I wanna go ahead and connect to that. It should connect and give me a 172.16.32, whatever that network is. I don't know off the top of my head, but it's gonna go ahead and do some, uh, check for some updates. We'll give this a moment. And while this is booting up, I want to go ahead and boot up a Kali machine. So I want to go to my Volume Hub machine. I want to boot this up. See how here I have this on the same network as that. So I want to make sure I can communicate and maybe do some cool stuff. So let me see where that booted up to. It's in the back here. It's actually. I'm just going to boot this machine up, my Kali box, just to see if we're able to uh, ping, hit that box. Since it's on the same network, I want to make sure it's all configured correctly. And if you guys want to check that out and make sure your stuff is configured correctly as well, you can go ahead and follow along. Okay. All right, so let me log into here. I think this is my InfoSec hat. I have so many VMs on different machines. Sometimes I forget which ones I'm setting up. But let's go ahead and minimize that. I don't really care about that right now. And if I open up a terminal here, let's go ahead and make this bigger. And if I do just an if config ETH0, I'm, oh, so 172.16.1. I said that 32. Maybe that's another VM network I have. So let's just see where we're at here. Okay, perfect. So copy apps and data. I don't need to copy anything because I'm not copying anything. So don't copy. Let's make this a little bigger. So it just says one sec, check an info, and we'll give this a few moments. Okay, I don't need to do this. I'm gonna skip this for now. Skip. I just wanna get to the, to the desktop already. All right, so it is, is this the right time? Yes, it is. It's about my lunch time, so this is why I'm doing this on my lunch. So we can go ahead and hit next here. And we, 
the Google services, you can leave this however you want. I'm just gonna leave everything as default because I don't know how long I'm gonna have this VM anyway. This is just a demo. So I'm gonna hit accept. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a pin. You know what, I'm gonna do some, not now. I'll set this up later. Okay, not now. And, and I'm just clicking through and seeing if this thing is. So skip anyway. And imagine if you only put like one gig or two gigs, this thing will be running super slow. All right, so if for all you Android users out there, you guys will probably be pretty familiar with what this means. You have a quick setup, a quick step and task. I'm just gonna do quick step, always, that's fine. And now this will look familiar if you're an Android user. You know, you can click on here, drag this up, and now let's go to a terminal. Okay, let's go to allow, it's fine. Allow, allow. Look, see this is, imagine running this thing in, uh, all right, so now if I do an if config, I know that's super small, I can't even see that. So let me go here, go to preferences, go to font, I'm gonna do 20, because I'm blind, I guess. My colors, holy moly. I wanna do green text, black background, because I like that look. Okay, let's go back. And that looks a lot better, right? And so now if we go up, we can see this IP address is .24. So it's 172.16.1.24. So let's go back to my Kali machine and try to ping that. 24. And boom. So now if we do do it like a quick nmap scan, this is just extra. And 172.16.1.24. And we can see if there's, oh, I wrote the IP wrong. Let me do sudo su. Whoops. I just want to get uh, so nmap really quick. 24, and we'll give this a second. I know the video is going on a little longer than I expected, but if you guys want to cut off here, you know I would watch it till the end just to see what ports are open, what's scanning. But this is just going to run a quick nmap scan and network mapper against that host and see what comes up, right? <clears throat> I'm just from, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just curious to see what what happens, and um, yeah. So pretty much, I'll keep this behind the scenes. I don't want to bore you guys any more than you guys already probably uh, watched. You know what you wanted to see to so install the the Android device on VirtualBox. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it's been informative for you guys. Please, like I said, like, subscribe, share. If you have any comments, just hit me up on social media, Instagram, or comment below, and I'll be sure to help you out. Thank you so much, and have a good day.